Nick, uh, I know last year you guys, great high. Even two years ago when you finished five and seven, you won the Valley Trophy and you could, yeah, well, you weren't here, but your, your, your teammates won the Valley Trophy and had that. How tough is it to end on back-to-back, -back, you know, blowout losses at home when you could have had a chance to qualify for the postseason? How is it? Yeah. It sucks. Um, it's the worst feeling in the world. We don't go out there and work our tails off and fight for each other and get up early and do all this stuff to go out there and do that. I promise you that. And so however upset anybody is about that, I guarantee you that nobody's more upset than the players. Um, it sucks. What's the difference? Why, 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 could, why, why weren't you guys able to sort of replicate last year's magic? Were, were, were there any specific things, or is it just the way you know football can change? Can be just the matter of a few key plays. Uh, I think it just comes down to um, attention to detail and, and discipline, whether that's in the off season or whether that's during the season, um, executing plays during the game, during the week, whatever it is. I think it just comes down to discipline and um, and executing at the end of it. Um, we brought back a lot of the same guys, a lot of the same tools, uh, a lot of the same weapons. And at the end of the day, when it just came down to it on Saturdays, we didn't get it done enough. And last year we were on Saturdays. And so I don't like to really compare last year and this year because it's completely different, like completely different. But um, that's kind of what I saw. I know you're beat up emotionally and physically. You could see, you could see that you were in pain out there after uh, taking that hit where they landed on you. Uh, but, uh, you know, considering it's your last game, how much did you, did you and the rest of the seniors and the guys who are not coming back, how much did you just want to keep fighting for those brothers that you have in the locker room? Yeah, that was exactly it. And um, we just wanted to keep fighting. And I mean, I'm not going to disclose any like medical stuff, but I, uh, I said I'm not going out like this. And um, I wanted to keep going in there and fighting. If I could only fight with one arm, then I was going to fight with one arm. Um, if I had to jump on one leg and fight, that's what I was going to do. Um, because these guys deserve me to fight till the end because they fight till the end. Um, offense, defense, special teams, this whole team, this family, we were fighting to the end. What's going, Nick? JP from the All-Pro Jaffos. I know it's a, a tough one, especially on senior day. Um, again, you showed a lot of toughness. You showed a lot of heart. So, again, don't let anybody take that away from you regardless. But... Um, what what's next? What are the I know you got to deal with everything now, but has there been a thought process from near on what's what's happening next for you? It's just I understand day by day, but where where are we going from here? Um, uh, my first plan is to uh, read a book. <laughs> um, if you have any ideas on what an adult should read before they get into the adulting world, <laughs> then I'll take all of them. Um, I got to grow up. Um, you know, football, college football is done for me. Uh, I hate that it ended this way, uh, but I got to come to terms with that it's over. And so I'm going to take this weekend to enjoy time with my family and uh, come up with a plan from there uh, what I'm going to do. I do want to try it for the NFL, and um, that's something that I'm, I'm going to really put my best foot towards and, and give it my all. Um, but for this weekend, it's just going to be focused on uh, my family and just kind of coping with this. I mean, this one isn't a question, but I mean, everything that you've done here at this university, bringing a Mountain West championship, getting to a bowl game, the undefeated uh, regular season that you guys la had last year, at least you got a lot of memories here that you can cherish and look back on and be very proud of. So at least from myself and the All-Pro Jaffos and anybody else who's been watching San Jose State football, we appreciate what you've done here. Really do. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nick.